It, it's completely, it's inaccurate to say that there was never a successful lawsuit against Backpage. There actually were some. Um, but uh, there also were some high profile ones that weren't successful in this. this and this, that was the impetus to pass the law. But the law that was passed actually goes much far beyond a law that's written to make sure Backpage and sites that are just like it are held accountable. Um, the major change the law made um, was to create a whole brand new federal criminal law which um, which makes it um, which makes it a crime to own or operate an online interactive online service um, with the intent to facilitate or promote the prostitution of another person. That does not require uh, minors. That does not require the lack of consent. That completely that applies um, completely to um, adult consensual. Um, prostitution. Uh, the law also does not define what it means to promote or facilitate. Um, so it's unclear uh, what's actually illegal, whether this is actually just you know, pimping, as you might consider that, or whether it's doing other things that might promote or, or facilitate. Facilitating the law just means to make easier, you know, to make uh, the prostitution of another person easier. So that's a major change uh, that FOSTA did. As part of that, it actually, there's fairly onerous penalties, five years in prison, large fines uh, if you violate that law. And those penalties get even worse um, if you can show that you uh, promote or facilitate the prostitution of five or more persons, or um, if you did it with a reckless disregard of that you were um, contributing to sex trafficking. And again, what it means to contribute to sex trafficking, um, no one, the, the, the law doesn't say.